We have a new Red Dead Online update for this week, and today we will be discussing all of this week's changes, discounts, bonuses, and more. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone, and welcome back to the show. I hope you're all having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it may be. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And if you'd like to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So to start off this week on a high note, we have free fast travel. You can zoom around the map going from mission to mission and activity to activity without needing to pay a single dime this week. And it may seem silly, but free fast travel is always very appreciated if you're actively engaged with this game. It makes the whole traveling process a lot easier and of course extremely efficient and worth it considering it's absolutely free. I do really miss the collector bonus from last week. We ended up going from $358,000 all the way up to $387 thousand dollars here in game we made just over thirty thousand dollars this week so that was absolutely awesome i hope you guys took advantage of that two times money on collection set sales let me know down in the comments if you did take advantage of it how much money did you guys make i challenged you guys in my last video or my last update video from last week and of course my friends over on twitch as well and we were all grinding all week and it was just absolutely awesome but now moving on to some of the other things if you head on over to the fence you can find 30 percent off all the different types of pamphlets ranging from the arrow pouch pamphlet the efficient cooking skill pamphlet the pistol ammo pouch pamphlet the the uh, the repeater ammo pouch pamphlet the revolver ammo pouch pamphlet the rifle ammo pouch the shotgun ammo pouch the varmint rifle ammo pouch and the wilderness travel skill page so that means you can get the wilderness fast travel ability um, and that pamphlet actually from the fence right now these are basically all previous outlaw pass pamphlets and skill pages that you can read and they are available from the fence now as of the blood money update but you can get them for 30 percent off this week which is pretty good considering they are relatively expensive overall rockstar priced those as well as the previous outlaw pass outfits like the haraway you know the the uh the story mode arthur morgan outfit that's what was it 45 gold or something crazy 52 gold something absolutely insane but moving on over to the gunsmith this week we have 40 percent off all revolver in the game so the cattleman revolver the double action the lamat the navy and the schofield revolver as well as 40 percent off all holsters including every single roll holster in this game and we also have a few bandoliers on discount over at the gunsmith as well and these are for the embossed gunslinger holster as well as the studded bandit holster as well if you want to head on over to the general store this week you will find 30 percent off every single coat in this game including the coats that cost gold bars so it's a good time if you're looking to get some clothing switch up your outfits go check out the general store and take advantage of that 30 percent discount also just an fyi i did upload a part three or episode number three to my amazing looking red that online outfit series so if you want to check that out that is the most recent video on my channel before this one it was uploaded on sunday definitely go appreciate if you check that out and let me know what you think of those outfits as well in terms of bonuses there's nothing that i can really see right now of course rockstar should be posting their newswire in a few hours after this video does go live and we'll cover any major bonuses or other free rewards that we get like you know if you need to complete some type of activity like a stranger mission an online story mission a legendary bounty etc even if you if if it's just a reward for logging in we'll make sure to cover it if there's anything worth noting but i think with all that said we're going to wrap things up right here it's a very short and tiny update for this week especially coming from the high we had of that collection set bonus and even last week with the discounts they weren't absolutely amazing but i don't think they were terrible we had discounts on like criollo horses we had discounts on all pistols the bandoliers roll outfits from the general store a bunch of things for the collector roll from madame nazar we had double xp on featured series double money on story missions as well as of course like the like i said the collection set bonus like there was a lot going on last week i guess not the absolute best week of discounts but enough and this week there's just i guess not much going on at all i mean holsters revolvers the skill pamphlets for a player like me, and I'm sure a lot a lot of longtime veteran players, there's nothing in terms of things to buy this week. Of course, there's no new content. And I did want to make a quick note from the general store as well. There is no limited stock clothing again this week. Rockstar has done it yet again. We are pushing well into three and a half months now without a single limited time clothing refresh. I have no what's, idea what's going on on that end. You know, just like every week, they have pre-programmed, pre-set, whatever, 
it's even probably it's it's not even planned in advance i bet it's just rng of what the weekly collection is there's a certain list that they designed of all the weekly collections and the items and the amount you get but you know every week it's just gonna pick a random one from that list and that's the same thing that we should have with the limited stock clothing it's absolutely crazy i stream on twitch and there are players that are tuning into my chat asking hey you keep saying limited stock clothing limited time clothing what is that all i see is the stuff in the catalog and i'm like well you know it's stuff that should be making its way back in whether it's you know for the first time and it's new clothing and content that's coming to the game and it, that's limited time only for a couple weeks or if it's old returning stuff and refreshes that have come into the game for yet another week limited time for you to grab it that's the type of stuff we should be seeing and we just haven't had that in months and even before then that was just the last time we had it in the first place when we had it we had about a month and a half of basically double week limited time clothing refreshes so things were in the game for like two weeks and then we the limited time clothing refreshed two weeks limited time clothing refreshed again etc but that only happened two or three times and then it stopped again for the past three and a half months we haven't had new limited time clothing since the bounty hunters update and even then i think there was only one or two things really it, it's been since the naturalist update since we've had a nice limited time clothing drip feed and we definitely need more i'm not too sure what rockstar is doing on that end and again this week like i said i'll make a video on if we have any bonuses but i do hope we get some good stuff you know, last week with the collection set bonus was absolutely amazing. But I would be into, you know, if there was some type of Stranger Mission bonus or a Moonshine Cell bonus, Trader Cell bonus, I don't think if we're going to have anything major like that, considering when we do, it's typically focused on an entire roll. Again, last week, for example, we had everything with the collector roll discounted plus the collection set bonus. So if there was some type of bonus for the Trader roll or the Moonshiner, you would see Moonshiner roll items discounted or Trader items discounted and equipment, etc. We would have horses discounted if there was any other equipment as well so i'm not seeing anything like that in game but like i said i will update you guys if we do get anything special i also have some good news for this week some good videos planned for you guys i think you guys are going to appreciate the next upload here on the channel it has to do with a big fix i just hope that you guys could take advantage of it you know it has to do with the collector roll unfortunately i wasn't able to get this video out in time while the bonus was active but i think it's still going to help you guys out because a lot of players have run into collector bugs and glitches since the blood money update released and it was made even worse with the august 11th update when Rockstar actually added that hot fix to title update 1.26 which fixed the 50% loading bug on PlayStation where players would get like halfway loaded into Red Dead Online and then they would get totally stuck um, that was fixed August 11th, but that made the collector glitches even worse where players couldn't use their metal detector. They couldn't use their shovel. Sometimes they would just get completely unlucky and actual collection set items wouldn't spawn like tarot cards or alcohol bottles or bird eggs or, you know, family heirlooms or anything. So not only could they not dig up items like the jewelry, the fossils, the coins and the arrowheads, but they couldn't even get the normal items because those weren't even spawning as well. And it's just absolutely crazy how... At least so far, we still haven't had a fix, but we're going to, of course, talk about it in tomorrow's video. Rockstar is aware they're going to be coming out with a new update to hopefully fix that. Not sure when it is because we just looked at some support articles on it, but hopefully not before too long because it is September 21st. We're getting to the end of the month here, and it's going to be almost two months since Blood Money came out. Or actually, it is over two months since Blood Money came out. It's going to be coming up on three months since Blood Money came out, and we still don't have a fix for the collector roll. So hopefully get that soon. But I think with all that said, we're going to be wrapping things up right here. I just wanted to talk about the update, some other things to look forward to. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on there. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.